T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Welcome to another Chill Review. This time it's going to be UFC Ultimate Series Conor McGregor. It says he's a 2020 limited edition. I don't know what that means, but I'll have to take their word for it. Ba-da-da. Stuff on the back. la di da And just in case you can't find them, there's the barcode. As much as I want everyone who turns on my channel to subscribe, I'll have to warn you that I don't know if I'm going to be reviewing more of these. I bought this because I was interested. I like soft goods on clothes and I like, I like highly articulated figures and I like figures based on real people. It seems cool. This is one of those instances where I might buy something just because I think people might be interested in it on my channel. If it did super good, which I, I know it's probably... I have no clue how it's going to do. I might get more. If anything, I'll buy one of the brown guys. I like brown people. If you missed it, it does come with the Irish tricolor right there. I'll peel that off off camera. Inside the packaging, you do get this championship belt that is made out of a very pliable material. It has that coat on there. Hmm. This is as close as I can get to the details. They are kind of hard to see because there's like no wash on it or whatever. It's just straight up gold paint. The pegs on the belt are on that peg and pull system where you peg it in and then pull it over to get it tighter. I have been, I have trouble pulling it over, but once you just peg them in there, it does stay on. So that's good. You can adjust it how you see fit he comes with ufc gloves on that have that detail right there it's honestly kind of nicely sculpted right there you see the wrinkles and whatnot now paint is a smidge bit iffy but they look good enough to me same thing applies to these hands if you collect marvel legends i think you know what to expect it's the same level of sculpting and painting naturally you just pull them off and plug it back in. You can use these hands for UFC poses. I promise one day I'm gonna buy them clothes. I didn't know they were gonna be so expensive. Or you could do things like make him hold his belt. Or maybe you can make him pretend to be holding this flag on his back. And if you have messed with like, it feels like soft goods that would come with like black series. It definitely feels way better than that cape that Storm, Marvel Legends Storm comes with. But, yeah, depending on the Black Series, yeah, it feels like what you would get with that. Best example is the cloak that came with the Island Journey Ray. I think it was Island Journey. It is not very long or wide, I should say, compared to him. So, that getting that pose took some time. But before we get to his last accessories, let's just look at him. They didn't put a hinge in the foot like they've been doing with their Fortnite figures. But the musculature looks decent. Things look realistic enough. Here's his tattoo right here. On the butterfly joint, it's painted to about, let me get it, about here to match. Once you go beyond that, it is not painted. Here's his back. These, <clears throat> don't, they don't have any like, they're, they have elasticity in them, but they don't have like elastic in the legs or of the waistline. In the face, they aren't using digital face print. That is, it would look better if it did, of course. But it's reminiscent of what Hasbro does for their characters that aren't real life people like. Actually, to be honest with you, the G.I. Joe classified people, uh, they do have some type of digital face print, even though they aren't per se real people. They may have used a real face scan. So here's a better example. <laughs> right here of a regular comic book Marvel Legends figure. It's similar to that is what I'm trying to get to. But, I don't know. Looks good. I typically don't like nude bodies on action figures sometimes if they have they have pins but 
I like the way this looks more than like somebody like Marvel Legends Namor. Where the heck is he? He's not near me. So I can't even compare. But yeah, yeah, these pigs, I don't know. They don't, they're there. But they don't bug me that much. It is a retail figure. So you're only going to get but so much until they start trying to do like penless technology and whatnot. On the Figure Action Podcast, I was able to talk to Mike, one of the designers with Jazzwares for their Fortnite team. And I was asking, about, like, do they have limitations as far as how they put action figures together? Because, like, all the companies are making similar figures. They have similar art, articulation and design. But are there limits? And I bet you there are limits, like... Their pins probably can't look like Marvel Legends pins, which can't look like Mattel pins, but you never know. Here is what the ball joint looks like. It is small. And here is his secondary face. That honestly, I like that you get a secondary face, but you can kind of only look at it from certain angles where it will look good. He still has sort of a blank stare due to his eyes. Like they could have put his eyebrows down to make him look more angry or intimidating. And if you are new to my channel, this is something I complain about all the time. I hate getting action figures that have a blank face and it's not an action face. They should even be smiling, smirking, or angry. Or they should give you a smiling, smirking, or angry face option. Like... We do have this option, but the eyes are still blank. So, yeah, I got to take points away for that for me personally. Articulation. You saw that small neck ball. So there is barely any wiggle room on that. It's just regular rotation down that much and up a lot, which I appreciate the up. But I wish it had more wiggle on the ball so that you can get the head tilted. I, I just wish I wish every figure ever had a joint down at the base of the neck so you can get as much neck range as possible without doing something like that. Butterfly joints. They go forward a lot. Go back. Yeah, it's very tight. A lot. This right here goes up more than it needs to. And of course it rotates bicep swivel bends in that much on a double hinge rotates on the peg out and in now here's another piece of articulation that carried over from the fortnite figures that i just like i mean it's on a ball post the post and you're getting a preview of what i was going to show later but the post goes down into the body so i can go back and forward left and right and of course rotate and this rotates but it appears to be using the same system where the post goes down into a little socket in the front and if this was a pliable material you would be able to get more ab crunch than that i love ab crunch especially for characters that are supposed to be agile and and athletic but you can get this fake rotation right there because I say fake because it's just a cover covering the joint. You're getting all that motion out of the ball in the inside. The legs are heavily ratcheted. It's soft ratcheted outside, but forward, that is really tight. There is no like pull down system, but yeah, this side feels soft and this side feels a little bit harder, but it can go back that much and you saw how much it goes forward. Thigh rotation, double hinge knee, feet go forward and back. Kind of looks very meaty and thick down there. Maybe that's accurate. But it looks kind of weird because his feet are so small, but his ankles are huge. And then he has great ankle pivot. And if you want to see what he looks like without those boxer briefs on, 
here is the legs i thought it was going to be like a skeleton under there so that you can get more range of motion but you can see he has on regular boxer briefs and they even sculpted in the wrinkles and whatnot on the legs and he has a sculpted in cup right there so there you are very authentic there's a lot of space right here but these just so you can see without the clothing on there it kind of does go up more than 90 i see it splitting right there which is kind of scary let's see if it it's not yeah it is the higher i put it up that's splitting that's not good so maybe you shouldn't go beyond 90. size comparison to the top of his hair he's like exactly six inches tall and he's like three millimeters over 15 centimeters but if he had on boots he'd probably be the same height almost as jonesy but you can see they're keeping these two lines consistent as far as scale maybe other characters will be taller or maybe they're all the same size who knows what they how they do things but as you can see here jonesy is a little bit taller than drift so they're all not the same scale well the action figure scale is all over the place this is Hasbro's Ray from Ghostbusters. I don't know how tall the Ghostbusters are supposed to be, be in their movies, but I believe he is at least six feet tall. And Spider-Man is supposed to be 5'10", and he's 5'9". Here's Shang-Chi. I think you can fudge that in. Here is my TB League dude. Thousand Toys Synthetic Human and my Figma Deku worthy cap and somebody using the bucky cap mold right there with no boots and may fix batman because he's batman so end of the day my opinion on this figure based on what you get and not based upon my wish list it's a good figure can't really complain with it too much it does all the things you would want an action figure to do as far as double jointed this double jointed that butterfly joints abdomen articulation knees hips that go up more than 90 degrees awesome ankle pivot and all that and whatnot exchangeable hands and faces and a belt soft good trunks and a flag no well, yeah can't complain too much wish list stuff i wish it had better articulation in the abdomen section face isn't horrible but i wish it looked more realistic being greedy some hands that are completely like open like that would have been nice but yeah i was messing around trying to get a, a decent pose right there but yeah like i said can't really complain and then they're marked they put ages eight and up i don't know how many people are letting their eight-year-old watch MMA, but I didn't mention it. They have a bunch of tattoos printed on them, and those look good and they're detailed. So, yeah, I can recommend this if you actually want it. But you've probably already made your decision and you're not even listening to this part. If you are listening to this part, thank you. Hashtag completionist. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Because he still has.